I guess I just. I don't like them dykes. Okay, hi guys. It is time for the wilds. So excited to get back into the show. I had watched so many episodes at one time that I had to like kind of not watch them for a little bit and watch other shows so that I could also get those uploaded. Um, so it's been like probably a week or two, probably almost two weeks since I've been able to watch the show and I have missed it every single time I'm filming. I'm like, can I just watch the wilds? So needless to say, I'm very excited to watch this episode. Just a quick reminder that if you want to see the uncut reactions to the wilds, the link at the top of my description will take you to my Patreon and there you can watch the wilds with me in its entirety. So every single episode uncut, the full episode, not edited like you see on YouTube. You will also get an episode early. So when this episode is on YouTube, the next episode will be on Patreon. So if you're interested in that and also all the other shows I react to. So not just the wilds, it's every single show I react to. So if you're interested in seeing that, Definitely check it out. Otherwise, that's fine. Still gonna be on YouTube, just heavily edited. But other than that, let's get in this episode, guys. Who is this app gonna be about? I hope it's Shelby. Is that the body, maybe? Yep. Could you imagine the smell? She had her whole life ahead of her. Oh God, her whole fucking life. Yeah, and this is your fucking fault, bitch. Are there people like? Like, is there a whole corporation ahead of her, or is she the top? Because it doesn't really seem like that this is her idea. It's bad enough that she works for them, but it doesn't seem like her company, you know? How are we holding up this afternoon? Good, I think, though. There's a flickering light in here, which has been very unpleasant. Of course, now it's not going to flicker, and she looks crazy. Better watch what I say in here. I'd hate you to throw the whole DSM at me. <laughs> oh, time to hand over the contraband. Phone keys. Out. I know the drill. You've been here before? When can I expect to see the doctor? I know I was treated. It is harsh that like people in there have to be careful about what they say because everything could be taken the wrong way. All day. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Miss Klein, but the doctor finished his rounds an hour ago. What? He won't be back until tomorrow morning. Ugh. No, 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 wait. I need to talk. Wait, wait. What? No, nah, I'd be pissed. And they don't even have anything in the rooms. Like, that's, that's going to make somebody crazier. It said that you've been on edge. Erratic sleep patterns, mild agitation, and the like. Yeah, I guess. She doesn't have shit to do. What's been troubling you? Well, the boredom's not great. Yeah. Nobody can answer any of my questions. When do I get to get the fuck out of here? I ask a question and I get an answer or a non-answer and then somebody gives me candy or food. <laughs> I feel like I am a child. That is the vibe that they give off though. Especially when they do the interviews and they're like, okay, what do you want? Do you want anything? And making sure that you're comfortable, that's kind of my whole gig here. So why don't you ask me some new don't questions? Don't try to and date I'll see him. If I can get better at answering them. I know you're kind. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the quarantine order aside, we can't have you conferring during the investigation. And keeping you separate oh. it helps the account be less muddled. Hmm. So this is supposed to be like a different thing than the others. So maybe these people find them, rescue them, and they're now investigating it all. You really must miss them, huh? Yeah. Aw. Maybe more than I thought I would. But it's weird, though, that they can't see each other and they can't see their families yet. That's really weird. Normally, they get you in contact with your family, like, immediately. It wasn't like we were friends or anything, but... For the first time, we were an us. Aw, they just kind of did what they had to. How was there a f***ing goat on the island? Because it was brutal out there, and we all just... Needed a chance to mellow to be alone with our thoughts. <laughs> Ever since Jeanette's body went missing, everything about the island just felt off again. It didn't feel off in the beginning. I hope this is not too hot. <laughs> he only comes once a year and it's down your chimney. <laughs> <laughs> what the f girl? Thought maybe you needed a dirty Christmas joke in your life. I didn't know it, but I absolutely did. I won't ask you what's on your mind. People do that to me all the time because I'm quiet. I don't love it. But if you ever do want to talk, I'm around. My grandpa always used to come up to me and say, uh, Penny, for your thoughts. It's horrifying. I know, it's the creepiest, grossest way of asking somebody about their inner life. 
I think it's just a saying. Here, if your head's getting crowded, you want to like empty it, try this. It's not too personal, just observations and thoughts, quotes. Nora. This is amazing. Yeah, that was a really good drawing. You can try it my way. Yeah. Yeah, let's just touch it all over your dirty ass feet. Stop thinking about this bitch. Also, he like doesn't want anything to do with her. <laughs> How did nobody like see them together and be like, she's a kid. Am I supposed to feel something? I have a feeling that I'm oh. gonna salmonella. I don't know why for some I reason mean, I thought I this really was showing her. Trust Colby with those burgers. I thought it was showing her on the island, like writing stuff down and I was wondering like why does she look so clean? I know this isn't really your scene. It's not exactly yours either. I wonder if he likes her. They listen to vinyl and carry around copies of Infinite Jest. I guess it's kind of cool to see them acting like stupid kids for once. Yeah I feel like I feel like high schoolers especially have gotten like they act so much more mature than they should be but it's weird because they act like they're mature but they're not mature mentally and you can tell. I think I know what might help. Bottom shelf vodka. I thought he was gonna say mushrooms. No, no, no. Something's gonna happen you're, between them. No, you're not helping, Ian. Hey, at least he's her fucking age. <laughs> is, this okay? is this okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, we love a consent king. That escalated. The f that thing guy fed her up. He messed her up big time. I'm like a very non-violent person, but I could fucking kill him for how he treated you. Aww. Yeah, I do. Jeff Galanis is a giant prick who tried to shoot his shot with a high school student and then totally fucking trampled you. We're in the middle of fucking nowhere. She's the only one that just can't admit the truth. I know that it's hard, but like people aren't making it up, girl. <laughs> oh, she's cleaning her teeth out. <laughs> Bitch, it's her fucking teeth. It's not that serious. You know, I can already feel my health meter coming back up to 100. I'm sure though, when that you're that starving, it's, it's can't do that. <laughs> a feast. Oh my god, I want to puke. I had a single popcorn shrimp at my cousin's birthday party. My wind pop shut like a trap. <laughs> well, you're missing out. <laughs> Trying to stay on brand, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's you gotta admit, alright? The shape, shape and texture. Yeah, right? I mean, you know, it's... Her too? Like the clit. <laughs> this is the most action any of us have gotten. Oh my god. <laughs> Would you stop? It's funny that she's so uncomfortable, but like, she gay. I guess I just... I don't like, like them dykes. Sort of thing. Hey, what do you mean, that sort of thing? You know? Dykes. Pornographic gestures. Is it pornographic gestures or is it lesbians? I do believe that way of life is a sin. I can't fucking believe it. I'm sorry, but everything that I've ever known. She's is so funny. deep in the closet. Look, there is no hate in my heart. I just feel sorry. Fuck you. That is hateful though. Like people don't understand that. If you're saying someone else is sinful, like that's hateful. That hurts people. What? What do you mean what? Am I not allowed to have my own beliefs? Not those ones. Period. Like, you're the severe minority in this. Need a hand? Bitch, she's mad at you. I love how she has the watch on, like, accessorizing <laughs> on the island. Also, she looks kind of sick. What's wrong? Shelby, I'm serious. You can't have a problem with someone over who they are. And over something that they can't even it's change. Just, I can't fucking accept everybody. Accepting though is not the same as supporting. Something's going on with her. Is it? Oh, Lord. Is she like withdrawing Let's from the pills? Lie down. <gasps> oh shit. Oh my God, it's all of them. What the f and poor Shelby doesn't know what to do. Gotta send some pills to help him or something. I'm afraid the doctor isn't available. He's until. not here, I know, I heard. But this is a hospital. There are six floors teeming with physicians. So. <laughs> it's not quite how we operate. So change. They can't just 
can hold her. It's really like, it's just wild to me because they're gonna fucking sedate her now. But that's what's so scary about it is like, a lot of those places are not fit to find the medium between like, I signed here so that I don't change my mind and I can get help, but also like something happened and I need to be let go, you know? Like, and then you're just kind of holding them against their will, which is freaky. Swallow, bitch. <laughs> what the f- Why is she still like- Oh, shit. Is she- Is she okay? <laughs> Go through the pills. You alright? Everybody's like, Everybody getting over it. Go away, So many man, she's on the fucking brink. I don't know, it's like she keeps evaporating. <laughs> She doesn't look so hot either. I hung it on the spiky tree. There's like antibiotics inside, some meds to keep the nausea in check. My parents. Is she just still nauseous just or what? She looks bad. Ruffle my hair and say that I had like a very active imagination. She gonna see the goat? Just gonna follow her. The people that actually need the medicine. Let's just go follow Shelby. Where did you think she was going? I didn't really know. I thought she had found a phone and found a way to communicate with somebody not on the island. Not everyone's mm -hmm. like you. At one point I thought she had a underground hideout and that she had <laughs> hidden a gun. Specifically. <laughs> what I'm noticing, Mia, is that reasonable explanations don't seem to interest you. <laughs> she, she wants it to be a bigger thing. A wild story instead. I know it was you. Excuse me? I've been really thinking about it, about all those things you said and all that anger in your voice, and it finally fucking made sense. I know you sent him my birth certificate. I sent what? To my birth certificate to Jeff. Okay, what was your plan? To kill the one thing I cared about most so you can make a fucking move? She is unhinged. Call him. I wonder who it actually was. I want you was. to call him and tell him that it was you and that you're not gonna tell anybody else. God. <laughs> Oh god, this keeps coming. How did they film that? That looked really real. Can you believe that you ever made yourself do that? Girl, <laughs> is now the time. Couldn't have known. I brought him back. And I held him up like a fucking golden ticket. Nobody knew that was gonna happen. And it felt good. Hey, you guys had a good ass dinner and had fun. Until it was shit. <laughs> Blame me for fuck's sake. I'm the reason we're here. Aww. Damn. She's like dying. And Leah's out here chasing Shelby for no goddamn reason. Where the fuck is Leah? Leave it to Leah to f everything up. Every time. Oh my god. Uh, absolute moron. And guess what? You don't know what any of them are for. Can she not f shit up for once? Y your emotions were running so high. How does he I know that? that? You weren't able to make a plea for help. You're gonna throw my fuck ups back in my face over and over? What good does that do? No, 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 no. That's not my intent at all. I I'm simply trying to identify a pattern here. And trying to make you understand what the f you do. Because you have a pattern too, bitch. A glorified play date for D-listers. <laughs> what are you up to? She's so annoying. <laughs> Can I come over? <sighs> Oh God. Ew. Never seen you at one of Ben's ragers before. Ew, what the f How come? I guess I'm not really a Ben's rager type of person. You hanging with anyone? Uh, no, are you? Kinda. Bruh. I don't know what you're doing tomorrow, but me and a couple of guys going to the rail yard. No, motherfucker. Open. Gonna get lit, fuck around. You have a girlfriend, you piece of shit. Is she gonna do it? She better not fucking do it. Wanna get out of here? No. Yeah. Oh my God. It's it's crazy how much a relationship like that, like a grooming type relationship, even though he didn't even know how bad it was, that affects you mentally, sexually, physically, everything. For people that have undeveloped brains, it's gonna f you up badly in the future with other future relationships. And that's why she's so like empty and dead inside. Cause it's not only, not only like the implications of what that relationship dynamic is like but it's also once she loses that relationship she's got this like 
obsessiveness over this person that's unhealthy and pretty scary, honestly. And then now stuff like that happens because she's like numb to it. Oh my God, of course it's the one fucking pill. Uh, that stuff that you gave us, the antibiotic, that's gonna help, right? Yeah, they'll knock out the bacteria and they'll help most of us. But not the immediate they shit. They need more. Okay, halfway there. Okay, take that over to them. I'm gonna don't, help the other one. I don't trust her. Don't fucking trust her. She's gonna lose it on the way. She's Give it to really Tony. Bad. Tony's worse. Oh no. Oh, Dad! 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 There's only one. Come on, Daddy. It's obvious. So don't we need spit that much. shit out. I'm gonna need you to take this. Aw. Right? <laughs> she said, "Fuck you." They're not gonna take shit from you. Oh so my God, the taking, drama. They're taking the damn pill. Oh, she just fucking crashed. Am I not allowed to help her? <laughs> oh. Aw. Swallow the fucking pill. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> they're all like. Who would have thought she had it in her? Aww. Pride. It's a dangerous thing, having too much. Mixed with the delusions and her like on the brink of death, all of that mixed together is not a good recipe. But I love how she just like got on top of her and was like, no, you're gonna live. You're not gonna fucking die today after I was just homophobic as shit to you. I honestly feel like, I feel like she wanted, she wanted to be the one that gave it to her because she wanted to like, somehow prove to her that she does care you know like in her own weird way she wanted to be the one that like makes her feel better but you can start by not being homophobic it's just sad that like leah definitely needs help and she needed it way before all that shit happened because he thought that she was like 17 turning 18 right also i wonder <gasps> whoa what the f I'm also wondering, like, who actually did send the birth certificate, because, like, who would have access to a birth certificate if not her family? Because, like, it's not, like, the yearbook. It was their birth certificate. Like, even an ID, I feel like, would be more understandable of, like, oh, he could have, like, snuck her ID and took a picture or something. Why is somebody not with her? She looks terrible. And why would they think that her going into the ocean to cool off, which I think is what she's doing, why would they think that's a good idea? Like, let's let the f***ing zombie walk in go into the water. Oh shit. Martha! They need to go to back to where that medicine was and find the other pill. Why would you say this this fing loud right now? I can request a site consult. Okay, figure something out. Go to the place where the bag was and look harder. Then you wasted it. Oh come on. Look at Stop. Okay, she is a good person and she cares about her. That would have been you. She has a whole family. You threw me a lifeline. Dying. Who cares? I don't matter. I don't Aww. In, uh -oh. in the forest, I might have dropped something. Why didn't she just say that to begin with? Like, someone could have came and helped during the day. Why didn't you tell any of us? Yeah, she before? deserves that. I'm sorry. She just stays, like, making more problems. And I do, I do feel for Leah with what she's been through, but it's like, it's ridiculous. No. <laughs> If you hadn't let your obsessive paranoia about Shelly get the better of you, then you wouldn't be carrying around the guilt that you are now, would you? It doesn't help that he's like smirking at her. I'm sorry, what did you say your job was? To, to protect us? Yes. To make us feel safe? Yes, that's the thrust. Well then why do I feel attacked? Because you're guilty. <laughs> I do think though that he's pushing too hard. What is he doing? I'm not fucking overwhelmed, no! Oh my god, uh, what no, the f- no, 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 no. Okay, 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 Like, what is this? My professional life has been taking its toll. I feel like if I was, like, forced and to stay in there, and I needed to, like, work, I would just be anxious the whole time. It would just make it worse. Red tape. I wonder if it's gonna be the same doctor, same guy. I think about her often, what she would have become. I also have you some killed her. rancor toward her. Selfish ass bitch. You know, it's teenagers. They can be brilliant and foolish, gentle and cruel all at once. To be honest, I think she just needs a therapist. I don't think she needs to be locked up, even though she's a psycho bitch. I feel like the, the scary thing about her is that she's not crazy, you know? Like, I wish she was crazy. I wish that was why this shit was happening, but she's 
Pretty sane. Oh, I you're knew it. You're being honest with me. I f***ing knew it. I called that shit. Well, there may be some semblance of truth to what you're saying, but I can't help but feel like it's buried beneath an artful layer of deception. I'm afraid I can't help you, Miss Klein. Where do you get off what from the suggesting f that I'm not being straightforward? What does this mean? So, is he a cop? I knew you'd be good Or is he I a doctor? You, but I didn't think you would be this good. Excuse me? The new initiative I mentioned, I realized this past week that it needs someone like you. With what a fine is going mind on? and a gentle hand to guide vulnerable patients through the dark. I checked myself in here to meet you. And now, I would like to offer you a new one. So she is, he is working for her. So they aren't safe. They're still just part of that bullshit. Wow. Jesus, Dan, that was virtuosic. I'm glad you're pleased. Acting like Please they're saving them. I've never seen someone so excited to watch a girl implode. It's an art the way you create a space for these women to talk. Well, I'll put them More like it's manipulative. This is fucked up and deceitful. So they put them through that and then made it seem like they were saving them. The more implicated these young girls feel about the tragedies that occurred over there, the less inclined they are to expose us. You got that, don't you? What the f is going on? What are they doing? Like, what is this? And why? What's the point of this experiment? Do you ever think about your first heartbreak? All the fucking time. Honestly, I barely survived it. Sounds like you need to see a doctor. Go I hope we get a Shelby backstory soon. She... <laughs> that shit was a damn trip. Ooh, there we go. That was season one, episode six of The Wilds. I have more questions now than I did ever before. I also am proud of myself for guessing that that guy was going to be the same doctor, but I still don't understand it, though. Like, what does that mean? We kind of learn even more about Leah, which kind of, I mean, it was important. The things that we learned were important to know, but I just kind of wish that we could learn about some of the other people like Martha or Shelby. I'm not going to sit here and try to psychoanalyze Leah's trauma because I'm not a doctor, but I do know that like that's ty that type of thing and that relationship not only broke her heart, but carries a lot more baggage than, than I feel like she's she knows, you know? I feel like that's why she's so, like, dead inside and these sexual experiences to her are just, like, nothing because of how she is inside. You know, she got hit by a fucking car and it's just, like, still just doesn't care because she, her heart is broken. Like, you can break any bone in her body and she's fine, but her heart is broken. At first, I thought the guy that was asking the questions was like just kind of being real with her but then it became a thing where it was like he was almost listing things to her like oh so what about when you did this is that because of that too like dude chill first of all and it did become a thing where he was like pushing all of her mistakes at her and like that's not gonna help anybody and it's definitely not gonna get you any answers so I, i'm confused on like what the point of that was i know at the end she she was saying like how impressed she was that he got so much information from her but yeah what cost though because you had to get her sedated and like brought to her bed and now she's gonna not want to talk to you at all so like I don't get the point of that I don't know I had a feeling that she was still involved because I was like this kind of doesn't make sense like why her bad company so to speak was the one in charge and then now there's this other company that is supposedly the ones that like saved them but for some reason they can't see their family or call their family or anything or see each other that seems weird you know because like if this if this was real life you'd be able to call your parent the second you were rescued like no discussion so it's that was weird to me that like they're supposedly good people but like they're not like oh you can't talk to your family because it'll interfere with the investigation what no like have any of these girls seen anything any type of like true crime or anything that's not how that works especially because they're minors too so like no we would need to talk to my parents first but um not everyone could know that of course the whole thing with Shelby being homophobic and kind of being like, I love everybody, but just like, I just think it's sin. You know, I hate that shit. I hate when people are like, I love everybody. I, I accept everybody as they are. I just don't support that kind of thing. 
so you don't love everybody as they <laughs> they are i don't know i just think that that's such a like a cheap way out and obviously like i do know that she ends up being gay so it's definitely projecting in her trying to she's got you know she's got this internalized homophobia to the max with religion involved and that's that will f you up you know i know people that are full-blown lesbians that have been out for a very very long time that still have a hard time feeling like they are okay as themselves it's it's definitely a hard thing i mean even myself like whenever i talk to anybody or see anybody talk about religion and stuff all i can think about is like that person probably doesn't think that i deserve love you know and there's just so much internalized homophobia and just trauma from religion for for many people that it's it's hard and that that doesn't mean that that i don't i don't know it's just a really like sore subject for a lot of people in the lgbtqia plus community and i am kind of glad though that she insisted that she be the one to give her the medicine because it was almost like you could tell that she when she was walking around afterwards that she's like thinking you know and i think she probably realized like the way she was talking was just horrendous and then the fact that she herself is gay i think she realized like what it was and i also love how shelby or not shelby tony on her deathbed was still like no f you <laughs> i will wake up to say f you i'm not taking that pill from you and then she kind of forced her to which like why did they have chemistry even in that and i like how everyone was looking around like <laughs> like get a room no i'm just kidding but she did save her and i think it was so funny though like not funny but kind of funny at the end how tony was just like why'd you have to save me? And then just kind of gave her another thing to be mad at Shelby about. Like, it's just so typical Tony at this point that it's like kind of funny. So I'm excited because I feel like honestly, that was the first little like olive branch in their, their making up and them becoming friends, I think. So I'm, I'm so excited to see more of them. Um, yeah, Leah was just, there's a lot in this episode. And I mean, the guy, the doctor guy, he is correct in his assumptions and he is right. He is spot on, but I just don't understand where he's coming from. And I don't understand the whole point of that. Like they're, they put them in the situation and then they rescue them just to continue this experiment. Then, then what? They going to throw them back out there or like, what is happening? I don't know. Something's, something is like not right. And I want more answers because all I know now is that like stuff is still not right in their not safe they're not rescued they're not being interviewed by the police this is fake so i don't know i this just has me i wish i could watch another one right now i have another show i have to watch i wish i could watch this because i want to so badly but um yeah this was a fantastic episode it just left me with so many questions though but um yeah i hope that they can find that other pill to save martha um leah it's just like and it's so frustrating too because he is right that, like, because she is so paranoid, she's putting people in danger. Like, the the phone thing, the, I don't know, just, there's so many things that she's fucked up, you know, honestly, and that, that could have been avoided. And she just does not have critical thinking, like, good judgment on anything. So, I do hope that she has some character development. I could see it, but who knows? Who knows? And I also am wondering if, like, that situation, the, the, fast forwarding is from like after season two or after this and then they get thrown back out there i have no idea but yeah this was a fantastic episode um and yeah i think that's pretty much it see you guys for episode seven thanks for watching